Building your first character for the G.I. Joe role-playing game from Renegade Game Studios is like a trip to the toy store. New action figures just arrived, and you only have enough allowance for one. However, this time, you're not bringing a new toy home to add to your collection. No, you're making the next G.I. Joe and bringing it to a tabletop so you and your friends can live their adventure. The G.I. Joe role-playing game runs on the Essence 20 role-playing system, the same system that runs Power Rangers and Transformers. Don't let the 300 plus pages of the core rulebook scare you. Half of it doesn't apply to character creation. As for the other half, every decision you make narrows down how many pages you have to learn until it all fits on this, your two page character sheet. It's all here, but before we get to how you build your character, you need one thing, an idea. Think back to that toy aisle. What made you choose the Joe you bought? A cool code name? Intriguing military specialty? Interesting file card? Dynamic art? Impressive accessories? Imagine you need to sell your character to your 5 year old self. Or for a lot of us, your 35 year old self. What is it that makes your G.I. Joe the best toy on the shelf? Once you know your Joe, it's time to build them up. Essence 20 characters have a role, an origin, and up to three influences. Exclusive to G.I. Joe, your character also has a focus, a role within their role. For example, Snake Eyes and Scarlet are both commandos, but Snake Eyes has the infiltrator focus, whereas an intelligence operative like Scarlet has the spy focus. Influences, origin, role, and focus unlock perks, special abilities that your character uses in play. Your origin, role, and focus also increase your character's stats, called essence scores, which tie into your skills and defenses. In the G.I. Joe role-playing game, your role is your place on the team. Some roles are broad and self-explanatory, like infantry, officer, and ranger. Others take some explaining, like technician and vanguard. We'll go into detail on the seven roles and each of their three focus options in another video. Regardless of which you choose, your role grants the following benefits at first level. Increases to two essence scores and a list of skills that you can improve. What equipment you're good with and what equipment you're great with. One or more role perks. Three focus options to choose from to define your character. When you pick your role and your focus, note everything it gives you in the appropriate space on your character sheet. Picking your role is the biggest choice you'll make, so don't worry if it feels like you have a lot to write down already. Next, we'll look at your origin. The meaning of a character's origin changes between Essence 20 games. In Power Rangers, it's your attitude. In Transformers, it's your chassis. Well, in the G.I. Joe role-playing game, your origin is what brought you to the attention of an international anti-terror organization. For a lot of Joes, that means their military service. You can choose Army, Navy, and Air Force, or similar training outside of those three branches, like First Responder or Intelligence. G.I. Joe also recruits civilians who prove their value in the fight against Cobra, like engineers and scientists. Regardless of which Essence 20 game you're playing, your origin has the following game benefits. It increases one of your Essence scores, and gives a list of skills tied to that score that you can invest the skill rank into. It also sets your starting health, base movement, and your language fluency. Finally, you get a perk tied to your origin called your origin benefit. The army origin, for example, means you're trained in all weapons. The last of your three big character creation choices is your influence, or influences. Influences represent the key moments in your character's life that set them on their path. They're more tied to your past and personality than your career in G.I. Joe. So, if you want to represent CoverGirl's time as a model before joining the army, you could take the artisan influence. Every influence you choose grants a perk. If you choose more than one influence, you also get a hang-up, a flavorful drawback you might have to deal with during the game. For example, if you take the adventurer influence, you can use your experiences abroad to gain helpful insight. However, if Adventurer is your second or third influence, you also get Wanderlust as a hang-up. When you're in the same place for too long, it could distract you at the wrong time. If you're looking for more influences to choose from, influences in other Essence 20 games are among the most cross-compatible options in the system. For example, the Not From Around Here influence from Power Rangers could represent Martha Vineyard's native Lady J's time at Trinity College in Dublin. When you've picked all of your influences, note your perks and any hang-ups on your character sheet. By now, the top half of both pages of your character sheet should be full. It's time to look at the bottom half of the first page of your character sheet. It lists the four essence scores, strength, speed, smarts, and social. Each essence score tops a column of information related to it. Listed below strength, for example, is your toughness defense, as well as boxes for calculating it. You'll do this last. 
Below the defense section is the list of skills tied to that essence score. In the case of strength, that means athletics, brawn, conditioning, intimidation, and might. Whenever your essence score increases, you can improve one of your skills tied to it. By now, based on your earlier choices, you have one essence score increase from your origin, two from your role, and one from your focus. They gave you options for your essence score increase, like how the Covert Ops origin increases either speed or social. Now is the time you make that choice. On top of your essence score increases set by your role, focus, and origin, you have 12 essence score increases to invest however you see fit. Are you making a powerhouse like Gung Ho? Be generous with your strength. Someone agile like Jinx or a vehicle specialist like Ace, you'll need to increase your speed. Did your brain get you on the Joes like Doc? Increase your smarts. Or do you have a commanding presence like General Hawk? That's what the social essence is for. Whenever you increase an essence score, you also gain a skill point. You spend skill points by investing them in that essence score skills. When you invest a skill point in a skill for the first time, fill out the D2 circle in that skill's space. When you attempt an action that uses that skill, you'll roll 1D20 and 1D2, your skill rank. The more skill ranks you invest in a skill, the higher the skill die you use, improving your D2 to a D4, then a D6, and so on. Alternatively, you can specialize in a skill. When your specialization comes into play, you're not just rolling your skill die. You roll it and every skill die lower than it. We'll get into that in more detail in another video, but trust me, it's good. Once you've finished filling out your skills, you'll also have your character's first level essence scores. Use these to calculate your defenses, which is basically your essence score plus 10. Also, check to see if any of your perks give you a defense bonus. Once you finish filling out your skills, you'll have your character's first level essence scores. Use these to calculate your defenses, which is basically your essence scores plus 10. Check to see if any of your perks give you a defense bonus, and when you go on a mission, you'll requisition some battle dress to bump up your defenses a bit. But for now, it's 10 plus each essence score. Toughness is 10 plus strength. Evasion is 10 plus speed. Willpower is 10 plus smarts. Once you've finished filling out your skills, you'll know your character's first level essence scores. Use those to calculate your defenses. Basically, each defense is an essence score plus 10. Also, check to see if you have any perks that give you a defense bonus, and when you go on a mission, you'll have an opportunity to requisition some battle dress to bump your defenses up a bit. But for now, it is 10 plus essence score. Toughness is 10 plus strength. Evasion is 10 plus speed. Willpower is 10 plus smarts. And cleverness is 10 plus social. So, are you done? You tell me. Does this look like the G.I. Joe you wanted to spend your allowance on? If not, you can tweak some choices or even start over. If so, you're ready to deploy, soldier. Yo, Joe!